The skeleton is an internal framework of the human body. It comprises of around 270 bones at birth. This total decreases to around 206 bones at adulthood. The bone mass of the skeleton makes up about 14% of the total body weight and reaches maximum density around age 21. The human skeleton is divided into two parts, which is the axle and the appendicular. The axle consists of the skull and the rib cage, while the appendicular consists of the rib cage, the pelvic needle, the pectoral needle and also the arms and the limbs. The parental bone are the two flat bones which make up the forehead. Then you also have the occipital bone. The occipital, the occipital bone is the flat bone which, which is located at the back of the skull. Then we also have the temporal bone. The temporal bone are the, are the bones which are located either side or at the base of the skull. The temporal bone are, are responsible for protecting your temporal lobe. Then we also have the sphenoid bone. The sphenoid bone is the most complex bone in the human body. And why is it so? The sphenoid bone is very complex due to its shape. And that's why we can also refer it as a wasp bone. The ultimate bone. The root of the nose forming most part of the cranium. And most of these bones are located in pairs. The vertebral column, also known as the spinal column, is the central axis of the skeleton in all vertebrates. The vertebral column provides attachments to the muscles, supports the trunk, protects the spinal cord, and all nerve roots. A normal human being is born with 33 vertebrae, but as we age, they bond up to form 26 vertebrae. The vertebral column divided into different sections. The cervical, which are seven, the thoracic, which are 12, the lumbar, which are five, the sacrum, which are five fused together, the coccyx, or the tailbone, which is this one, which are four fused together. The needles are divided into two parts, which are the pelvic needle and the pectoral needle. The, the, the pelvic needle are, like are irregular shaped bones that originate from each other that are of three kinds, which are the ilia, the ischium, and the pubis. Going to the pectoral needle are the needles that make up your shoulder, which are of two. They are the clavicle and the scapula. Furthermore, the human arm is very free, which is the humerus, the radius, and the ulna. The ulna is the longest bone in the human arm. There is the three, which are the femur, the tibula, and the fibula. The tibula, also known as the shin bone, while the femur is the longest and the most thickest bone in your whole skeletal system. Going to the rib cage, the rib cage is also known as the thoracic cage, which is made up of features that protect your lungs and your heart. The fascia bones serve to protect the brain house of the sensory organs of smell, sight, and taste, and provide a frame to the soft tissues of the face that can facilitate you eating, breathing, facial expression, and speech. The primary bones of the face are the mandula, maxilla, zygoma, nasal bones, and the frontal bones. The frontal bones are complex yet elegant suitability to serve a multitude of functions. Let's talk about the bones that make up the hand. Phalangus. Phalangus are the 14 bones found in the fingers of each hand and toes of each foot. Each finger has three phalangus except of the thumb that has two. And the metacarpal bones. Metacarpal bones are the five bones that compose the middle part of your hand. And also the carpal bones. Carpal bones are the eight bones that create the wrist. The two rows of the carpal bones are connected to the two bones of the arm, which are ulna and radius. Metacarpal, any of the several tubular bones between the wrist carpal and each of them four limb ligaments in the land vertebrae corresponding to the metatarsal bones of the foot. Originally, numbering of five metacarpal bones in mammals has changed and reduced during evolution. Skeleton gives the body shape, allows movement, makes blood cells, provides protection to body organs, and stores minerals.